exciting. I, you don't understand. I, I'm originally from the Ozarks. Uh, woo! Yeah. Yeah. Let's try it apart. All right. I heckle myself to save you time. Not everybody in the Ozarks lives in a trailer park. There is a huge waiting list. We start with a pickup truck and a camper shell, and we build and we dream. It doesn't happen overnight. It doesn't always go well either. You've all seen that half a trailer going down the highway? That is an Ozark divorce. Show a little respect as that goes by. Flash the lights, wave. It's a wide load. It's a wide emotional load. I live in half a trailer, is what I'm trying to tell you. I am a single, stay away from home mom. This way. And don't feel bad for me, I got the half with the kitchenette, I had a good Ozark lawyer. And it, the value went up exponentially when I started calling it a tiny house. So, I'm rich. I am a white trash vegetarian, I don't know if you're familiar. I have a cookbook, which I will be selling after the show, look for me after the show. White trash vegan cookbook. It is all chicken recipes. So I gotta keep working on that. It's just my third draft. I'll keep working on that. So I'm dating. I'm dating again at this age. At this age. I'm dating. I'm not on Match. I'm not on Tinder. I'm on Timber. I'm on. Familiar with the website. There's no swipe left or right. It's all down. It's all swipe down. Sponsored by Viagra and coconut oil. So. <laughs> Which they are now combining in one new product, WED40. So I date older men, which is kind of an interesting time in my life. I'm dating older men. Cool thing about dating older men in the morning, my sperm count is higher than theirs. So. There's a sense of equality. Anybody surprised I've been dating men? I get it! People tell me, okay, Nance, Nance, you look a little like a cross between a lesbian and another lesbian. Time, I am not a lesbian anymore. I have retired. I've retired, ladies. Sorry. I am a lesbian emeritus. I'm on call, though. I have a beeper if you need anything. Just a little consults now and then. Retired after 20 years of service in the lesbian community. I did three tours. Three tours. One of those was in Alabama, so that is extra credit. God has not pay for that tour. It's not easy. It's not easy, but if you have served as a lesbian in Alabama, hats off, salute. I'm just saying. It is difficult and dangerous. It's difficult because they have outlawed, and this is true, a pleasure penetrating device. Do y'all know what I mean by pleasure penetrating device? They have made that illegal in the great state of Alabama. A senator stood before the legislature and pled his case that we shall not have a pleasure penetrating device in our state. It is immoral. say it's against God's will. <laughs> the eyes have it, the bill has passed. They are now known as dip dots. <laughs> I will also be selling t-shirts with dip don't. <laughs> with my white trash vegan cookbook. We must remain vigilant, we must confiscate every dip don't in the
the state. And you know we're gonna have to keep it up because those girls down here can whittle. That was ridiculous. That was a large deal of dumb. I'm smuggling. I'm like, you need a, you need a pleasure penetrating device. Got a good, I got a good one. It's been sanded. No chasing. I'm chasing. W. I got some W E D forty. Right on up. I did not retire from lesbianism. I was fired! I was fired! I was let go! I was let go of something about pleasing a woman. I can't remember the details. Not because this is one of my moves. I was dismissed. It's a lot of work pleasing a woman. Have you tried, sir? You know what I'm talking about. I was fired, I had to clean out my desk in front of a cop. I to a lesbian desk, I had to get all my cat food. I got to get my candy lane. I got to get my comfortable shoes, I'm keeping those. And the uniform. I had to give back the L to the LGBTQ. They took my L. They took my L, and I, I have yet to earn a P, I'll be honest with you. So far, all I've got is a P. I'm a bisexual. I have sex every 3.1415 years. 